like a mayonnaise. Okay. It's a form of a dressing. Then once you make the dressing, you're gonna make uh, sandwiches, deli sandwiches. Ham or turkey, put some microgreens on there. The tomatoes, and we have some roasted potatoes. We're gonna make uh, the mayonnaise, we're gonna take turn with the whisk. Making the mayonnaise. So you're gonna have to put some elbow in it. Okay? Okay, so one egg. You know how to break an egg? I know how to break an egg. I know how to break an egg. Okay. Put it in the pot. Put a little salt. No. A little bit. All right, good. Give it to her, hand it to her. Put the salt. Salt? No, sprinkle Some mustard. Oh, that's enough. One squeeze, that's it. Good, thank you. Then, you're gonna squeeze the lemon. We'll take a turn and give each one a, a chance to put something in the pot in the, the container. So put some muscle on it, CJ. Muscle on it. All right, good. Good job. Just a little uh, teaspoon of vinegar. That's all. You have a whisk? You want a whisk? You have an oil. So, not yet. You have to slowly pour the oil. What did I say? Pour the oil. Okay. So start whisking. Slowly pour the oil. Put some. You can put some elbow in it. Slowly pour the oil, and it's gonna turn. It needs to turn creamy. Come on, put some. Put some elbow on it. Slowly. Yep. Look, it's changing. Okay, keep going. It's gonna turn into mayonnaise. We're gonna do the yeah, we're gonna do the easy way to make it. Break the egg. Good. Squeeze that in there. Put a little drop of, of that in there. One squeeze. Yeah, one squeeze. It's coming. You gotta keep working it. It's there. It's looking like mayonnaise. Oh, that's it. Okay. Now, we're gonna pour the oil in here. You're gonna see how easy this is, or easier it is. We're gonna pour some oil in there. Okay. Then we're gonna use what's called an immersion blender, or a handheld blender. You see the egg? You see the egg? See the egg. Mm -hmm. See this part? Keep this part covered by with the egg. Keep that the egg covered. Not at all. Keep blending it. Keep blending it. Keep blending it. See how easy it is without blender? Make some mayonnaise. Then you're gonna slowly lift it up. Slowly. Keep squeezing. You see? Mayonnaise. All the way Come on. Lift it up. Lift it up. Take it off the ground. Take it. Okay. Look. We need tasting. Oh, I'll taste it. 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 Okay. Look. Are we, who's gonna taste it? I am. I am. Okay. Everybody's gonna want to taste. No, so once you taste, don't double dip him. I don't want to. I don't. Okay. All right. You don't need a lot. Oh, that's so much. You just taste it. You gonna taste? Yeah. What is it gonna taste? It's not thick, but it's good. It tastes. It tastes fine. It's just a, the thickness of it needs to happen, and you guys need to kind of whisk it so it gets thick. Okay. The next step is to complete the aioli. The aioli. The microgreen aioli. We're gonna get some pea microgreens, blend it up, and then combine. Okay. I'm gonna pour a little oil in here so it can be easier. Hey guys. Okay. Move it. Yeah. It's coming together. Just take it. Aioli. It smells good. It got in my Okay. So we're going to use a combination. So, uh, we're going to put some of this in here. This is right there. Exactly. Wow. See the camera? Fresh. And so, 
You got this gonna come. We're blending it. Okay, we're combining it. We gonna rinse it off. So good. Like wow. 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 Hey, yo, she said that's a yo. You ever heard of that? And you let them know about your soap. You make soap, right? Yeah. What's the what's your uh, soap company called? Me and Cooper go to the same school. Oh, y'all go to the same school. Did you know he makes soap? You didn't know that. See, see what I'm saying? See how the CEO lead. You be connecting that business. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is make microgreen lemonade. Microgreen lemonade. 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 And Chef, oh, Dela, Chef Dela, she's going to lead. This is going to be interesting. So you are the founder of the Unincluded Club, is that yes, correct? Yes, I am, yes. Yes, well how does it feel seeing your uh, program go from thought to manifestation? Well, i tell you what, uh, it's a joy, it brings joy to my heart. See the little ones enjoying the simple thing that should be simple, but they never get a chance to do it. They're cooking, <laughs> they're doing their own, you know, produce and and uh, that's what we want. We want well-rounded kids, educated yes. in every aspect. Not just football. We want them in the classroom. We want them healthy, and we want them well-educated. And that's what we're working okay. for. Well, thank you so much for putting this foundation together. It's great, and I'm looking forward to great things to come. Uh, well, I tell you what, I appreciate y'all joining us, and hopefully we can make this here flourish. We will. Yes, sunflower lemonade. It's in our cookbook and we call it sunshine in our lemonade. Okay? Yeah. Put some water on there. Wonderful. Your hands clean. Who need to switch their gloves? Yeah. We're gonna have a little mint in there too. Can I put it in there? We're gonna have to switch them gloves. Okay. Switch your gloves, buddy. You put some water in there? Yeah. Okay, she put the water in there. And she's gonna blend it up. Okay, we finish. Yeah, Let me get. Yeah. You got seven. Okay, hold on. There you go. Don't put a lot, cause we're gonna put it in the cup. Get you two. You're gonna get your own cup, and you can put it in there. Okay, good. We're getting all this microgreen in here. The sunshine. This good nutrition, the superfood. Right. Okay. What type of microgreen are we using, Chef Irma? We are using sunflower. Sunflower? Yes. Okay. Um, I need somebody to be the taster. Garfield to taste it. Right. Mr. Garfield. Taste it. Yeah. So we're going to set up Mr. Garfield's cup. Nice. So whenever you have your uh, lemonade stand, you know how to garnish up your drink. Put some bread sprig of mint.
Oh, look how pretty that look. It looks so refreshing. I mean, I just could just look at it for a second. And then I got a matching straw. A green straw. Get in there. Okay, hold up, hold up. Y'all got to count down for Mr. Garfield. Three, two, one. Oh, that's so awesome. Ooh. Amazing. Is it need sweet a little enough? sugar. Okay. It need more sugar. A little sugar. All right. That's all we need. More sugar. You taste the microgreens? You taste oh, the I taste the microgreens. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. It's almost sweet enough because my lips didn't go like. Right. <laughs> so we almost there. A little more sugar, y'all. I tell you what, for the nutritional value that this brings, the freshness and the crispness of the mint, the ice, the okay, ice is chilling it, the chilling and that twist of lemon. Maybe I'll just squeeze a little lemon in there. Okay, Gordon Oh, yes. Look. I know. We're going to test. We're going to test. We're going to eat. Calm down. You're going to eat. Ooh, we're going to have to go make the sandwiches. Make the lemonade and you get to see that. That's lemonade. good. Okay. Come on, okay. That's what I'm going to watch. Okay. Okay. Get a bread. You got your spoon? Oh, Kennedy said no. Who don't eat ham? But I'm serious. I'm oh, just kidding. So what meat are you putting on there right now? Uh, turkey. Well, I'm gonna say and uh, get the cheese. Pull the cheese open. I'm gonna get it first. First plate. Hi. Cheese. Tomato. You can do a ham and cheese and turkey. Oh. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Pull that out. Cheese. I know that's right on. <laughs> huh? It smells like I good. miss cheese and me and bread. Y'all vegetarian? Vegan. Vegan? <laughs> okay. Oh my God, it looks so good. Though. I came with the good. Put it on the table there. There's a frog there. One scoop. Okay. Like you at a restaurant. Take it the food to your mama. Then you finish. Get her a drink. You got to try the potatoes first. One of y'all both of y'all. I said one. That is so perfect. You've been listening, so you're probably right. Chef Ayoli. Irma, what is it called? Aioli. Aioli. All right. Now I can take a bite. <laughs> if they're serving me next to the table, what are they doing? Just making mm. a little bit of time. Where, where's this? You put something mm. in here? Oh, okay, yeah. Go, there you go. Just go over there. Stand right there. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it really is. You know, all the people just like, drop the spoon and a paper towel and bring it to the people. It is so good. It's it's not too sweet and it's it's perfect. Y'all did a good job. Right here. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yes, have a seat on both sides. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You, you stay with the food. She got past the drinks out. No okay. roasted potatoes. This is perfect. Put a straw in there. Yes. The seasoning. The seasoning. It's perfect. Thank, Thank you. Where is um? Like that. Where is Asia? Where's Asia? It's not dry. Still got so funny. Have a seat. That is good. Come on. In the food service, you got to move. People waiting. They say, how the food taking so long? I've been waiting 20 minutes for just some sandwich. Everybody's saying that lemonade. Everybody's drinking it like. That lemonade is so good. It's refreshing. 
Nope. Put our micro green aioli on our sandwich that the children made from scratch and is grown at 1000 Knob Street here in Temple. Every opportunity you get, you can use microgreens for all your, your uh, dishes. So, Ms. Irma, how was this experience today? It was fast-paced? Yes, I think it's great. Uh, the kids did well. They did well? Yes. Thank you for helping them out. This is a great experience. Yes. How long have you been cooking? Chefing. <laughs> From I was a child professionally since 2013, I went to Le Cordon Bleu in Austin on my own restaurant, and then Miss Dory called me to come and teach the children how to cook. Wow! Thank you. Thank you. It's been a great so experience. Much. Well, Thank we you. appreciate you today. The kids loved it. I'm ready to dig in. Good. I'm ready to taste it. But thank you so much. Thank you.